I grew up with um, a lot of craft in my life. I love textiles, like I love the fabrics and stuff like that. And my father and I connected really strongly because we used to sit down together and do craft. I kind of evolved into needlepoint because you can't go on holiday and take your loom, you know what I mean? When I first wanted to start doing the needlepoint, which was I was really young, all you could get was ready-made kits. Birds and flowers and, yeah, Renaissance scenes. Yeah, yeah, no, I hate all that. I really enjoy watching how buildings and structures can change when a light changes. And I think it's that the colour and what light does to colour that I'm really drawn to. I start off with the image, so I find the image and I photograph the image and then I create a transfer. I transfer onto the canvas, I put it onto a frame and then I sew. <laughs> If I'm doing something really, really big, I often look at it and go, oh my God, that sky is really complex and I think I just need to get that done first. I'm a bit like that person that if I've got a really nice meal in front of me and say I've got chips and I love chips, I'll leave the chips till the end because I love them so much. So I'll eat all the other stuff first and I'll leave the chips till the end. <laughs> Sorry, I love a metaphor.